Hello, this is John Ashworth, owner of The Fitness Nomad, otherwise known as The Fitness Nomad. And for those of you who know me, you know how committed I am to education, education, education. It is so important that on an ongoing basis you do whatever you can to educate yourself when it comes to health and fitness because there is so much myth and misinformation out there. So this video today is about three things. First of all, I'm experimenting with a new technology. So you'll see in the background of this video, you'll still see a preview image for I Show You HD. That's because I still haven't decided which software package I want to use for the screen recording. So until I make that commitment, that, that image shows up in the background. Secondly, to reinforce my commitment to you, my client, prospective client, or just all of the other fitness enthusiasts out there who have been becoming fans on Facebook and following my posts. This is about you and about helping you and educating you. The third thing is the theme of the, the Nomad Whiteboard Workouts, which ties all this together. This is what makes my business and my approach so unique. And I do challenge you, try going anywhere else in town, in Madison or Middleton and the surrounding areas, and finding a business owner like myself with the kind of diverse level of experience and expertise that I have. Master's degree in exercise, phys, 18 years in the business and a variety of different capacities and I won't go through all that here. You can find information and my full resume on the fitnessnomad.com. You have a lot of other choices when it comes to your health and fitness. I certainly hope you'll choose me and I certainly hope you'll choose me for the right reasons. And I'm giving away a ton of stuff right now specifically on my Nomad Force website, which you can find at nomadbootcamp.com, a free session with me, a consultation, and a free week in that new program. So make sure you take advantage of that if you're interested. The Whiteboard Workout Series, and please forgive me, remember I'm experimenting with a new technology here. It is not smooth right now, but perfect is the enemy of done, and I need to learn how to use this stuff. So here we go. The whiteboard workout series. This is a series of workouts every week. A new whiteboard workout goes on the whiteboard out here in the studio and I implement it with clients. Now, everybody doesn't get exactly the same thing. You are an indiv individual and you need an individual, individualized program. But I have initially a six month training program and now 30 whiteboard workouts. So pretty soon you'll have a whole year's worth of whiteboard workouts that you can implement. And hopefully, eventually, you will actually be able to click this leg press text and it will take you to a video of me doing the leg press. So you'll be able to follow the whole system without ever having to be here if you really wanted to do that. Of course, there's no substitute for actually being here. What I want to show you is the nuances. This is why it's so important to hire an expert. Leg press, three sets, and we go up the pyramid. And I'm just going to draw a triangle to sim simulate a pyramid. We start that at what's called a 15 RM. And if your eyes are already glazing over, there's reason number 46A to hire a professional. RM stands for repetition maximum, which means you're going to start at a weight that you can lift the maximum amount. You're going to start at a weight that you can lift 15 times with good technique, and that's it, but you can't do more than that. So it's the maximum amount of weight that you can lift 15 times with good technique. Then for set number two, you're going to go up, and set number three, you're going to go up. How many do you do? As many as you can with good technique, but it'll always be less than 15 if you start at a true 15 RM weight. Set number two, a very difficult move. This is a move you don't see a lot in the gym, a straight leg deadlift, because it's so difficult to teach. A lot of trainers actually shy away from it because you really do have to be diligent with your clients if you're going to show them this move because you can hurt your back, especially when you do it the same way. We're going three sets up the pyramid. So for set two, we're increasing the weight. Set three, we're increasing the weight, and we're still starting at that 15 RM value. And then there are nine moves here. All the rest of them are kettlebell moves. And again, kettlebell moves are more difficult, more challenging, take a lot more skill, which is why you don't see them until whiteboard workout number. Well, you see them before this, but you start to see them more and more now because now you've built the skill. Now, for the clients that need a little bit more challenge, remember, not everybody gets the same thing. If you're still feeling like you have the energy. We're just going to ignore that telephone call there and hit the privacy button. That's my wife, so I'll make sure I call her right back, I promise. 
we're going to go dumbbell moves. We add four different dumbbell moves. These happen to be the same moves that you might get, that you do get in week two of my system. And, you know, the moves, there are probably about 150 different moves that I'll use, generally speaking, and they all cycle in and out. We have an open door policy here with all of our exercise moves. So you bring them in, we bring them in, we bring them out, we change the set and rep combinations, and there are an infinite number of ways to do this. But you know what, you have to know what you're doing. I was gone for a week recently, and one of my clients in particular, he went to one of the big box gyms here in town, otherwise known as the P Princeton Club, we'll put a big P there. And he said, geez, John, you know, it's pretty hard to duplicate your workouts may not seem that way when you're here and I'm taking you through it because it's all laid out for you and I'm guiding you along. But two things happen. The first one is the accountability. I'm just gonna put an A until I practice and get better at writing here. The, the accountability, you're gonna work hard with somebody standing next to you. And number two is just the expert design, okay? Somebody said this recently and I think this is a really good way to put it. This is not rocket science. But it is science, and there is art involved in this, much more than you think. And again, if you want to come and try this for a week for free so you can experience that firsthand, go to nomadbootcamp.com and click that banner you see in the right-hand column. So there's some dumbbell moves here, and then also there's always some amount of ab work. And again, there's a progression with these and there's always some stability ball moves and then some other moves on the mat um, writing mat twice I have no idea why but I because I'm trying to get used to all this stuff so you get the idea um, hopefully this starts to give you the idea of how complex a routine can be and you can imagine what would happen if you walked in here and you tried to figure out what's going on in step one what's going on in step two What's going on in step three? How do I combine these moves? What exactly do I do? That's what I'm here for. This is what we do in Nomad Force. This is what we're doing in the context of small groups here at the studio. And let's see if I can write this legibly. That's Nomad Bootcamp.com. Check it out. Love to have you soon. I'm gonna leave it at that. Much more of these types of videos coming soon. And I promise you, they'll get better and better. This is John Ashworth, the fitness nomad. Take care.